Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this Facebook Live. It is Monday. It is December 11th. Things feeling a little chilly out there this morning, mm -hmm. dealing with some fog as well. We'll talk more about that in just a second. But first, a reminder, you can find us live on Facebook every morning. We go live about 8 o'clock. You can also find us throughout the day on your Facebook feed as the video stays up there for you, so you can watch it whenever it's convenient for you. Get your headlines for the day and learn about the weather as well. Also, find us on our Inforum YouTube channel and your favorite podcast platform as well. Just go to Inforum.com slash podcast and look for the Inforum Minute. And you can join us for first news as well every weekday from 5 to 7 in the morning. So find us all over the place. No excuse mm -hmm. not to get your local news <laughs> yeah. and your weather. All right, Jared, this morning we're talking a lot about fog. Yeah, it's been kind of the main story mm -hmm. out there. Otherwise, the rest of our weather has been pretty quiet today, yeah. especially coming after um, like the system that moved through yeah, on Friday night weekend. into Saturday. So we had some tough weather, kind of our first, you know, decent yeah. hit anyway <laughs> of, of snow for yeah. some of us. And it's just, it's been so quiet. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a doozy out there. And then this morning, roads are still a little bit yeah. slick in a few places. And we are tracking a little bit of fog. Uh, there's going to be a little breeze out there this morning out of the south. And then it's going to slowly switch as a cold front swings on through. And tomorrow will be our coldest day of the mm, forecast, okay. potentially of the next 10 days. So oh. it's kind of nice to be able to say that. And yeah, the rest of the forecast just jumps right back up. But when I say cold, it's actually going to be about spot on for a seasonal <laughs> yeah. average day. So we've just been spoiled with some warm we have temperatures been. and then we're going to be right back up in the 30s almost for the rest of the forecast although thursday looks like we could hit some 40s oh, wow. again so those that picked up just a little bit of snow mainly in the southern part of the valley will get to melting a lot of that or at least compacting it i don't think we'll get rid of all of it sure just don't have all the sun like uh that we do earlier in the season yeah. so uh just days are just getting a little shorter mm -hmm. right now Definitely. anyway so uh, yeah, otherwise, just generally looking pretty quiet out okay. here. I know I, I wrote a little something about ice fishing this time of year. Just, mm -hmm. We've been, we've had a lot of ingredients for good ice mm -hmm. just because we were lacking the snow and, uh, and it just, it was, it's, it was all set up. We mm -hmm. just needed cold and sure. we haven't had that at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be one thing if we warm up, you know, about freezing in the afternoon, but our, our morning lows have stayed very mild okay. as well. So just not great for making a lot of ice quickly. And now I picked up a little bit of snow. So there was ice out there. We'll mm -hmm. just see how that ends up impacting the rest of the season. But sure. I don't know. I, I'm not a pioneer, as I wrote in there, so I'm not one of the first ones to go out. I know a yeah. lot of folks have been out there ice fishing. So once we got like that solid base there, even when we get 40 degree temperatures, it's so brief in the afternoon, it's really not going to impact in there. Okay. But, yeah, sorry, I just kind of stole away the weather to go talk about ice that's, fishing. That's okay. <laughs> kind of part of the weather. It all yeah. works together. I saw a couple people out on a little river in Wapaton. Mm. Like this was like a week ago, and I was like, hmm. I wouldn't go out there because yeah. I feel like it's been warm, but you're saying there is enough ice in some places. Yeah, yeah. I mean, once you start making it, even when we get down to those teens at night, you know, we'll just still make a little bit more, a little bit more there. And uh, during the daytime, then, you're really, even when we hit those upper 30s, lower 40s, we're really not melting much snow. It might mm. melt just a little bit on yeah. the surface, but that's going to refreeze again sure. at night. But, I mean, for a while there, it was looking so good with the lack of snow. If we'd have just got some cold air, we'd have made, like, really thick, good ice, mm. which is would have been really rare because recently we've had so much snow sure. that uh, most of the lakes have had slush or water on top wow. of them all winter long. So we'll wait and see how this one ends up <laughs> for us. But in the meantime, I'd just say soak up some more mild temperatures. Yes. That's going to be the theme about the next next 10 days there's even hints later on next week we may have a couple days hitting close to 40 i mean Jeez. we're almost approaching christmas there yeah that's uh not something you're going to complain about this time of year that's yeah for sure unless you really like the snow then you might but yeah uh, that, those those that <laughs> picked up you know the five six seven inches there were some isolated spots there mm -hmm. from friday night that snow will, will stick around we'll have a white christmas for that but it's going to compact a little bit yeah, we'll melt sure. some and the one nice thing is the road conditions are definitely going to improve here mm -hmm. over the next multiple days just because our weather is going to stay pretty quiet not really see any precipitation and with mm -hmm. highs getting in those mid 30s most days that's when you know roads can just improve pretty easily okay all right anything else at all jared i don't think so so not much happening i don't <laughs> see any big systems on all the right. way here well i'll take that yeah me thank too. you appreciate it <clears throat> all right let's get into some local headlines for you here this morning uh, Fargo drivers are going to be happy to learn that today, a part of 40th Avenue South, back open as normal. Uh, since last Wednesday, the westbound lane of 40th Avenue from 36th to 38th Street had been shifted to the center. 
Uh, that stretch runs under I-29 near Titan Machinery. Uh, the shift was because they were doing some concrete surface repairs. Well, this morning, those lanes are all back and fully reopened, so smooth sailing there. Uh, people in West Fargo looking to get rid of bulky garbage items may soon find that they have to uh, schedule pickups instead of simply tossing them on the curb like you're used to doing. Uh, that's because there would be a change to the city's garbage pickup process. This is still uh, a proposal at this time, but it could also increase rates. So West Fargo currently offers a follow truck, which kind of just follows the, the garbage truck on daily routes to pick up additional items that are placed out by the garbage bins on the curbs. Uh, those are typically larger items. Now, if the city commission scraps that follow truck, the city will still be able to do some of these pickups, but they're gonna be switching to an online or by phone scheduling system instead. Uh, if you wanna read more details on what this could look like potentially, just go to inform.com and uh, check out this article. <clears throat> All right, so we are on the home stretch of uh, WDAY's annual Toyland Express donation drive. Our lobby upstairs is filling up with lots of great new toys for kids this holiday season. And today is your last day that you can be a part of it. You can bring those toys in to our building. Our station is at 301 8th Street South in Fargo near the Cass County Courthouse. All of those new unwrapped toys that are brought in by our great viewers are going to go to Fraser Limited. So uh, if you bring in a toy, just uh, bring our buzzer someone will let you in and we'll get it in part of that stack of toys so uh, bring those in we'd love to have as many as we can <clears throat> all right big news from the weekend today we're expected to learn more details about that big news coming out of the ndsu football program uh, head coach matt entz announced he'll be leaving the bison after their playoff run our own wday logan campbell uh, broke that news for us yesterday entz is going to be heading to usc to be the assistant defensive coach um, and then also linebackers coach. The Trojans welcomed Coach Entz on X with a post. Entz also posted a 60 and 10 overall record in his five years with the Bison. Uh, includes two FCS titles, six appearances in the championship game. He posted his own, own statement on X yesterday saying, the last 10 years have been an unbelievable experience for myself and his family. Uh, being a part of the Bison football program will be something we cherish forever. He'll host a press conference at 2 o'clock today. You can watch that on WDAY Extra. Uh, the Bison still taking on Montana this Saturday in the FCS semifinals. And of course, on Hot Mike today with Dom Izzo, they'll be talking all about head coach Matt Entz moving on. What does this mean for the Bison football program? Who could be the next head coach? Lots of question marks going forward now. Plus, the Vikings make history in one of the lowest scoring games of all time. Uh, a win's a win. They beat the Raiders 3 to nothing in Las Vegas on Sunday, so they get a win in the W column. And don't forget, for 99 cents a month for your first three months, you could get an all-access pass to inform.com. Take advantage of that. Just go to inform.com slash subscribe to get that deal. And then remember to join us on air for the rest of the day, our newscasts. Our next one's at 11 o'clock, then 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we'll be back with first news tomorrow morning from 5 to 7. Until then, have a great day. Stay safe and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.